focusing on capabilities, attitudes and metacompetences. An organizational development-oriented system of potential assessment must differentiate between capabilities, attitudes, and metacompetences. This has to do with contributions to the function and the role itself, capabilities and attitudes, and with contributions to the organization as a complete system, metacompetences. This differentiation is especially important for organizations, which must react to changing environments not only quickly but also appropriately in relation to the business as well as to the process design. Definition of Terms Capabilities are those behavioral patterns, which someone can produce when they are necessary for a certain task. Attitude covers a person's emotional and cognitive position, Shriog and Conrad, 2006, in relation to a task, the will to do something and the conviction that it makes sense. The attitude gives the behavior a purpose and makes it sustainable. Capabilities and attitudes together result in what we call competence, the ability which is linked to the will to do something. Practice clearly shows that attitudes shape organizational culture more strongly than capabilities do. Organizational culture consists of symbols and manifested values, and most especially of emotional and the cognitive attitudes and basic assumptions of key personalities who determine the essential parameters of the organizational design of an organization, Shine, 1999. Of late there has been an increasing necessity for comprehensive competences, which are not directly related to the tasks of the function or role. This becomes essential particularly when organizations consciously convert to process and project management. Metacompetences, for example the inner orientation to the whole and not only to a person's limited area of responsibility, contribute to an organization's overall development.